Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. That's what they on for flock of Trent. What's going on, man? I'm telling you. Man, we back at it again, man. How you doing, man? Man, you see, nigga, I'm fucked up right now. <laughs> Fuck. I'm fucked up. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, we did an interview, like, earlier this year, man. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I want to get straight into it because we, everybody know, you know, we know you from my producer. We know about all that. I want to go a little deeper today since we here, you know, um, when we first did our interview a while back, we spoke about a case that you were speaking about. I mean, that you had going on. Yeah. It's over now. Yeah. You um, know, and since it's, since we already talking about it, can you clear things up? Like, how much time you going to get or how did, how was the, the outcome of it? Um, basically, you know what I'm saying? My best friend at the time. The nigga I took underneath my wing, nigga turned to a, a state informant, a state, you know what I'm saying, witness against me. You a nigga, a nigga a rat. Um, and they were looking ugly for me. So, like, my, you know, they were trying to get me to just take some shit in the blind. I'm like, man, it's no way, bro. Like, they ain't caught me nothing because this man. So, long story short, I've been, I, you know, for a whole year, nigga, I only went to one court date. They was, you know, they was stalling the nigga out there, corona hitting all that shit, you know what I'm saying? So, but I ended up taking uh, a year of misdemeanor papers. Mm -hmm. I left $500 fine. I left online drug class. You heard me. And I'll probably get off papers hmm. next month. So, the rat. My lawyer costs like, you know, a couple, you know, a little more than his, but I'm a convicted felon already. I'm two times, you know. So, I said it to say, the rat got more. That nigga ratted, and he got more backlash than me. So, he ratted and got misdemeanor papers, mm -hmm. a year of probation, <laughs> and he paid more court fines than me. Wow. So, he ratted, and he ain't had no record. So, if the nigga wouldn't have ratted, I would have paid for his, the lawyer that I had, I would have paid that for him. And he would have got what I got, which what he got now. <laughs> nigga, so, a clown, man. So it didn't, even, it didn't even make sense for him to do it. It didn't even make sense for that nigga to rap, man. You know what the, the DA told me? The DA, after my case, the DA said, I want to go talk to Mr. Trent. After that, my court date. She brought me outside. She said, listen, I know you're a good dude. I see what you're doing in your community. You dig what I'm saying? I see that you're versatile. You go to Africa. Woo, 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 woo. You know, that's like, like, like. The woman got Instagram, bro. The woman be on my shit. She said, I, she said, I'm gonna be keeping in touch with you. I'm a, you know what I'm saying? Like, she said, dog, I had to do something about you because you keep popping up in the courtroom. Your name keep popping up. She basically told me, like, we don't got nothing on you, but I had to do something about you to let you know, like, if you fucking with people that ain't right, you need to stop it, bro. Yes, man. Like, she really told me, like. It was, you know what I'm saying? So I took the year papers. Because at first they were trying to give me two years papers. I'm like, I'm not taking two years papers. The nigga who read it, they got caught with everything. You heard me? Man, that boy, oh no, He got caught with this shit. I'm not taking that. We just, I'm going to fight that bitch. Let's suit up. I told him, let's suit up. With a strong face. Let's suit up. <laughs> yeah, My yeah. lawyer was like, you fucking asshole. Like, but I almost ain't get that there because I came to court, like, I came to court dirty. Yeah. So my lawyer was like, hey, the judge said, here, you had to take a piss test. And I'm like, I start scratching my head. He say, my, my lawyer say, are you fucking kidding me? Trey, you just fucking pit bullshit. You fucking, you, you, you see you, you don't, you think you can just do what the fuck you want, huh? You, fuck, what, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, niggas start flashing on me. I just, I can just laugh like, man, bro, I'm like, man, my birthday, remember my birthday was, was Saturday, bro. I went up. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, mm. potato, bro. So I took a year of papers, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was facing some, I'll face some serious time. So, I mean, so how much time was you actually facing? I was facing like a for sure, um, a for sure like two. Two years? Yeah. Yeah, for sure two, and I probably would have like did like uh, 50% of that. So, I, I was facing about like a year, nine months to a year, you know, to that I was going to die, I was going to be probably in a parish. In Baton Rouge or something. Because I was going to put a hole on myself, man. Because I don't... 
I ain't, I ain't trying to get my hair cut. So anytime I get locked up and I know I'm about to be in that hole, I ask him, can I get a, a hole and whatever pass I make so I don't got to. Put your hand on that. Yeah. Maybe you know it's like a, a religious belief, like y'all can't put Yeah, but hand. they don't got no picks in prison. Yeah. Man, they don't cut your shit. They don't got no picks, man. Mm. Yeah, at the time before you got the out, I mean the outcome of the case, was you were you like were you like depressed and worried? Oh uh, man, I, I went through a deep depression, man. Man, man, that was my best friend, huh? Like real talk, man. I taught this nigga how to, I taught this nigga about credit. You know what I'm saying? I'm the one. I, I brought this nigga to get his first credit card, man. Like we didn't fuck holes together. You know what I'm saying? Like I, like you know, I just, I brought this nigga in my circle when I don't know him to do that, bro. Like, for instance, the misconception about me is this, that I'm friendly. I'm respectable. Yes. But if you know me, you know that you can't get close to me like that. And people who know me know that, man. They, nigga, Flock Trent don't fuck with niggas like that. Mm -hmm. It's hard to get close to me, so I let this man get close to me. Dang. And you know what I'm saying? So, like, man, I went through deep depression, my nigga. Like, but I ain't go through more depression than him. Man wanted to kill himself. You know, the streets talk. Yeah. <laughs> man, ride around wanting to kill himself because he know you down bad. And you ain't get caught with nothing. I ain't get caught with nothing, man. They ain't found nothing with nothing. I ain't get caught with nothing. I had to cop out to. Oh, I had to cop out to. Uh, simple possession, over 14 grams. And I ain't, I ain't, I wasn't caught with nothing, no. I had to cop out to that. They tried to give me the cop out to the drug player for I'm like, man, I ain't caught me with no skill, nothing like. You know what I'm saying? I look in the paperwork. I'm like, in the paperwork, it said I had 1.8 grams of marijuana on my bathroom counter. Man, that's a blunt, man. Mm -hmm. That's a little fat little blunt, man. What you, man, stop it, man. <laughs> so, yeah, though, bro, I went through deep depression, though. You know what I'm saying? But when I caught my head, man, I bounced back hard. See, the deep depression was in 2019, beginning of 2020. Yeah. When pandemic hit, man, I got in my fucking duffy, man. And I was about to bring that up. You say, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people was depressed this year, man. The corona and the, the COVID has changed everything. You know what I'm saying? Was it a blessing? A curse for Listen, you? Like, what was it? Was it was a fucking blessing, cause like on bloods, nigga. Everybody, all my all my close partners, man, we do we no longer talk, nigga. Mm -hmm. And that situation with dual ratting. Popped it off. So my day one niggas that I grew up with, we don't fuck with each other no more. But the rat, the, the rat, rat and popped all that off. And the type of friend I am, nigga, fuck with a nigga. Tell me I always look out. Yeah. I'm just not the type of nigga that just gonna give a nigga some, but I'm gonna give a nigga opportunity. Or I'm gonna show a nigga how to get it on his own. So that way you never have to need me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I never, I never want no nigga to feel like, man, I need Trent to do this. No, I want a nigga to feel like, man, that nigga flock taught me how to do this. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So after I like got out of that slump, that depression, because I nigga was depressed, bro. Like nigga, after I got out of that depression, when Corona hit, I just went in my duffy, bro. Like nigga don't even know, bro. Like. I've been like homeless for like a year, nigga. Don't, that's what I'm saying. Like, listen, bro. Like, it's it's braids on blood. Like, I've been homeless, son. When dude ran on, we lost the house. I've been homeless since, but I've been, but in my mind, I've been sacrificing. So, like, I've been getting, I've been get, I, so I've been getting shitted on, you know, baby, mama, so, all that shit. You've been homeless. Know what I'm saying? You fighting a case. Fighting a case. Paying lawyers. Paying lawyers. And nigga. you got. You having backlash from your baby mama. Backlash, baby mama. And you depressed. And niggas still hitting up to borrow money. I'm doing it. Niggas sold me down after I do it. Oh, this is all. But anyway, I said it to say, nigga. But look how the look how the universe worked though. So after I, I regained my snap, oh, I'm I regained my snap. You hear me? Oh, uh, you know what I'm saying. And then on top of it, you know, a nigga got to deal with women. So I got to tell these women like. Like, hey, look, man, I'm fucked up right now. Let's go to your house, man. Look, I just lost my shit. It's a long story. So now I got to run them the story about the rat, rat, and how this shit play out. You know what I'm saying? So I don't look like no bum-ass bum nigga, because I'm not no bum-ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? But, so, they, so you know, so the question becomes, like, well, why you don't got a spot yet? And I got to tell them, like, because I'm working on something.